Alright guys, so this is a follow-up video on the uh, Fuji X100T battery life and the terrible battery life that it, that it has. So some of you might find this video interesting because what we're going to do today is we're going to build a custom battery to get as much life out of this thing as possible. So what this is is actually a dummy case of the battery with the three contacts here positive negative and the uh well what's supposed to be i believe the thermistor here in the middle i did this for another camera that i had my uh, my lumix that this video is being recorded with but well, we're going to make our own custom battery but we're going to use of course our trusty lithium uh ion 18650 cells and we're gonna be able to make a nice battery pack that's portable that we can stick pretty much uh, anywhere we like and get minimum three times the amount of juice out of one of these batteries here. If you're really a diehard, uh, if you use the camera a lot and you really want to get a lot of battery power out of it, you can add a fourth or fifth battery. Obviously that's going to get large. So what I would recommend at that point is just getting a higher quality battery with um, higher capacity. Something like the Panasonic uh, 18650B, NCR 18650B. One of those Panasonic NCR 18650Bs is gonna be like having one and a half times these batteries, if or closer to one and three quarters times these batteries. First thing we're gonna do, it's real simple. This end here, but I don't like this end, and we're gonna to have to make our own custom end. So this pretty much goes in the garbage. I just cut that off and we strip the cables here and we can see that we have a pretty thin copper wire here. I would have liked this to be a little thicker. These are positive and negative cables, but it should be fine for carrying the, uh, the voltage and the amperage that, that we need. We're going to use some uh, additional wire to lengthen this. Sorry, this is going to be sticking out of the bottom of the camera. So I want some length. Let's say I just want to put the battery pack in my camera bag or somewhere on my body that's not, you know, literally, you know, five inches away. Um, now we don't want to make this cable too long because obviously if we make the cable longer, there's more resistance, which means uh, voltage drop uh, and current drop as well. So I'm going to probably go with something like, I don't know, something where I, I can, at least it can reach my pocket. So I'm thinking maybe a two feet with something like this. And just remember, you can always lengthen these cables. We have two, two cables now. And everything. I'm going to strip this end. I'm going to strip both ends here. This wire I'm using here is actually 22 gauge. It's pretty much no resistance here. It's pretty much no resistance here, so I, I wouldn't even be worried about having the cable longer. Do whatever you like. You know, one's gonna be our positive wire, and one's gonna be, so we're gonna solder it like that together to positive and negative. I'm not going to bother twisting, like usually if you want to make a really good connection, you'll, you, you kind of twist them into like a knot. There's, a, there's an actual way that NASA does it, but you know, this isn't for a space shuttle, so I don't really care that much. We're talking about four volts here. But what I would recommend is tinning the, your cable. So just put a little bit of solder and then onto the um, wire. This will just help bond the connection when you when you uh, stick them together. So as you can see, it's pretty good. I'm just tugging on it there. Shrink tubing, not shrink wrap, shrink tubing. You can buy this at any electronics store or Amazon or shrink tubing. Can you guys see that? Yeah, just get that flipped over. So we put that over our positive connection. Why are we doing this? Because obviously we can't have the positive and negative touch. So it's going to be like that, protecting both connections. There we go. 
but I still want to be able to distinct to identify the positive on the other end just so I can identify it yes so that will be our positive on the opposite end so now I can go ahead and put this yellow one over I really need a lighter it's really inefficient doing it with matches. I gotta work with what I got here people. So basically that's what we have. And we know that this end here is positive. Is what type of connector we're gonna put on here because this is gonna interface with our battery pack. Balance cable I have. Um, it's a, actually seven wire but I pulled the other wires out so it's gonna be just a positive and negative. And that will just fit in like that. You know take it out like that. So, I don't know, just, that'll work. Again, I'm not really doing a really good soldering job. I tell you, you know, I don't double check things sometimes and I make stupid mistakes. Oh, you see, I already made a mistake. Can you guys spot where I made the mistake? I forgot to put shrink wrap, shrink tubing over the wire. See how easy that was to forget? Okay, so we got the positive done. Quiet! Remember to put the shrink wrap tubing over before you solder. It's pretty cool, so now we can flip the, uh, I actually did end up finding a lighter, so we'll flip the shrink tubing over top. Lighter, go Rocky. So much easier with the lighter, as you can see. Look at that, much easier. All right, so, we have that done. All right. Now what's cool about this is it's going to be sort of a modular pack. So I have this three 18650 holders in parallel. So this is going to be able, I'm going to be able to just put these in, put these in, put that one in like that. And they're already going to be in parallel. So they're already tied together. All I need to do now is just wire the positive and the negative to this other end of the connector. And we're good. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, that looks pretty good. I mean, you're not going to want to reef on this. All right, so we have our end. Red positive, black negative. We look at our 18650 holder, we have top positive, bottom negative. So it's gonna basically do this. I'm gonna solder this to the negative pole on the bottom here, like that. And the positive is gonna basically, I'll just do something like this. I've connected the positive and negative to the pack. Um, now these connections here are not the greatest. The solder doesn't take as well as I would want it to take. Anyways, they're working for now. And it seems to be like, you know, if I pull on it, it's not coming out. So nevertheless, let's check the voltage. 3.76 volts. You see how these kind of stab out a little bit? That's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm going to clean up, I'm going to come back, and we're going to do some tests with the camera.